Hello guys, this is Mahmoud Rauf. In this video, we will speak about the orientation and the box layout and how to use them. So, let's see. At the beginning, we will import our box layout using the UIX. And we will import the button as well from the UIX. So, in the last video, we spoke about the UIX and we said that it contains the layout and the widget. And of course, the box layout is part from the layout and the button is apart from the widget and we imported them using the UIX and this will be fixed all the time then we will create a box layout and then we will create three buttons inside of it and then we will give it an orientation so the benefit of the orientation is to uh, to put our buttons in a horizontal way or in a vertical way so then we will make a class that we will put inside of it the box layout and then we will write pass to stop the code right here and then we will run our code so let's check this out in our editor so first of all we will import the box layout so we will import at first the box layout so we will write from kvu.ux.boxlayout import box layout and take care that the letters must be uppercase for box and layout then we will import the button so we will write from kv.uix.button import button then we will go to our workspace right here and we will create the box layout and inside of the box layout we will create a button and we will give a text to this button for example let's name it b1 so here we go and just to make it easier let's copy this and let's repeat it for two other times and then we will get out of this workspace and let's write class my list view and let's give it the box layout and then we will pass and then we will import our class in this function right here to run it and it's my list so let's save and let's go to our desktop and run our program so as you see we created three buttons and we used the run touch app to be able to use our buttons in this window and we used the builders so we can write our code inside of it and it will be drawn on our window then we used the box layout and we created the buttons inside of it and every button took its text then I made a class and inside of this class I passed the box layout and then I wrote pass that means stop executing right here and then I made this function right there and then we wrote untouch app right here in our function and then I passed to it my class which is called my list so it will be executed and it would run on our box layout so okay let's go back to our editor right here and let's try to use the orientation so let's get it right here a little bit okay and let's give it a value which is horizontal so after we write horizontal between the quotations right here let's make sure that the h of horizontal is lowercase so let's go back to run our code and uh, here we go you will find that the default status of our buttons right here are already horizontal so we didn't change anything so let's go back to our editor and let's change the value to make it vertical so let's go right here and write vertical and let's go back to our desktop and let's run our program and uh, here we go as you see our buttons became vertical so the orientation of our buttons became vertical as you see so in this way we changed the orientation so okay let's go back to our editor and let's recap so at first we created a box layout so we can use our buttons or it would be our workspace where we will put our elements inside our window then we created the buttons inside of there and that allowed us to call the buttons or to draw the buttons on our window so inside the workspace we gave an orientation for three buttons which we created and we gave each a text and then outside of the workspace we made a class and we gave it or we passed to it the box layout and then we passed our whole class to our function right there and as we said the benefit of this function is to run our code so right here we wrote run touch app so that means run my application and apply the touch method on my window 
and then I called my class so it would be executed. And that's all. I hope that you found this video beneficial and thank you so much guys and see you in the next video.